this week's Theme Thursday video. This week's theme, there are three options that we could choose from. I went with the up in the air portion for Alicia, as you can see hot air balloons in her little outfit. And then the other part I chose was your favourite colour. I really love blue and that tealy green colour um, on Arrow's shirt. So that is what I went with for these options. The third option was also um, out of space, but I seem to have misplaced all my space items or they weren't for these babies specific sizing. I do apologise for the view in this video. I am in the process of changing my entire baby section in my room as you can tell from some of the clips that I showed. They are now on a bookshelf and um, I am nowhere near being able to show you the finished product. I have a lot of um, dressing of the shelves to do so to speak and some finish to, do to donate and um, lots of changes. So I decided that this year I didn't want to have a crib set up anymore. I really wanted to utilize the space in my room for storage a bit more because um, I was just getting a little bit uh, cluttered in my room. So I thought if I had um, designated spots um, for everything and they could all be put away out of sight if I needed them to be, it would make me feel a lot less um, enclosed in everything. So um, that is what I've gone with. I am, like I said, nowhere near ready to show you, but of course when it is ready, I will be making a video of my nursery changes. Because I have only two babies in my collection, and I will be sharing a collection update video with you all soon. Um, I didn't really need a lot of space, uh, so having a bookshelf would be a lot easier for me to maintain because I was using the crib for storage. I keep throwing things in it and uh, it just got a little bit cluttered and out of control. I am really hopeful that by the time I am done with setting up the bookshelf and everything, I can designate a filming area. That uh, was one thing that I was really lacking last year, was a designated filming area for the crib where I had it, the porter cot. Um, whilst it worked in a sense of being a great source of um, being able to put them in the changing area and film from there. It wasn't easy to always film from there because like I said I keep using it as a catch for all station and I really want to have something that is up a little bit higher because of health concerns. I really need to make sure that my wrist is at a level where it's comfortable and as you can tell this is not the normal angle I changed my babies from. I was doing everything with the opposite hand being dominant so and um, I found it very difficult to make this changing video look realistic and so this is just a couple of dolls getting changed for you all. Um, as you can see I only have Arrow and Alicia in my collection like I said I only have two left. Jinde is now upstairs again with my mum as I ran out of space to have him down here and I really know that I'm just not into toddlers I really enjoy babies and that's where my attention will lie for the rest of 2020 at least. I am looking forward to getting back to reborning. It's been a long time since I've sat down at my painting table and next week I will finally be back into work. We had a family emergency over December. My mum unfortunately ended up in hospital right before Christmas. Thankfully she made it out just in time for Christmas but it was pretty scary and it's been a huge undertaking to run the household while she's been um, so ill. She is definitely on the mend, thankfully, but it has been really hard to keep up with things that I wanted to start doing straight away in 2020, so I am behind in starting sharing videos on the channel, but I do hope that I can keep it a bit more pro uh, proactive this year. It's a, one of my goals to at least have one video every week for you all, so this is my video for this week. Uh, I will be having, hopefully, my collection update video for you all next week. Let's see if I can stick to that. I just want to say a huge thank you to everyone who leaves comments on my videos, who watches my videos and um, just takes the time out of their day to support my work. I am so grateful for you all and I really do enjoy this hobby even though I have been quite pessimistic about it for the last six months. Here are some photos of the babies in their new outfits and I hope that you enjoyed watching this video. Like I said, it's not my usual style. I hope to improve with that over 2020 and I cannot wait to share my grand ideas with you all. Bye for now.